Welcome to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tijerina. And I'm Kathy Tijerina. And Ron and I are the co-founders and the co-directors of The Ridge Project, as well as the co-creators of Tyro. Now, Tyro is a Latin word, which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new. A warrior. warrior! Woo! And you know what? We love the fact that we get to be engaged in training. Yes. You know, right? we learned how to become warriors, but, and I mean warring for our future, for our, our legacy, for our family. Well, Ron was in prison. Ron spent 15 years in prison, and the kids and I did the time on the outside. But through that experience, we learned so much about overcoming every obstacle in order to build a strong, thriving family. Now, even though I went to prison for a crime I did not commit, doesn't mean I shouldn't have been there. Because That's had true. I been doing the right thing, win, always, mm -hmm. all the time, no matter what, I would have been taken. I would have been taken at my word, right? But because I was living for selfish reasons, I was lame. All, I was a lame, right? The chief of lames. Everything was about who was about me. Yeah. But it wasn't until I went to prison that I discovered something phenomenal, something real, something tangible. That the only thing I had worth holding on to, the only thing that I had worth giving, was my word, mm -hmm. right? And I learned that, unfortunately, in prison. We learned to be a family focused on integrity, a family focused on building a future and a strong, thriving legacy. And those principles that we learned, we now teach other people through our Tyro suite of programs, including here on Tyro TV. Our passion is to help you and your family overcome every obstacle because we know firsthand what it's like and we know that if we can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. So living to tell about your experience that you're having right now in the penitentiary. You're locked up, you're incarcerated, you can't go outside, you can't do what you want to do. But you know what? This isn't to, to kill you. This isn't to make you bitter. It's to make you better. But the first secret to, to having this experience and overcoming it is you got to embrace it. Right, because a lot of times we push against the lessons. How many times have, uh, uh, when we were in school that we fought against doing homework? We mm -hmm. argued against, you know, why should I have to study so hard? We I procrastinated go until the oh. very last minute, and then we were like so full of anxiety that maybe you just didn't even do it because it was so overwhelming. And if you had had a plan and you had worked the plan and you had seen that as an opportunity to get better, I guarantee you, you would have approached school differently. Now, not only school. Now, let's take it into our adult life. Yes. Now we you go to jobs, right? You go to work. You get all stressed out. Why? Because he's asking you to show up 40 hours a week. You signed up for the gig, but then you don't want to show up to work on time, right? And then they ask you to work overtime and you throw a fit. What? I got a party tonight, right? Come on. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about me. But I know that right now where you're sitting, you're thinking, gosh, I wish I had that opportunity to prove myself at work, to prove myself to my family and my community. And so if that's you and you want to do something different, then today we're going to talk about perspectives, changing mm. the paradigm through which you see the world. So we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to start breaking it down. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tijerina. And I'm Kathy Tijerina. And today we're talking about perspective, mm -hmm. you know, and what is it? You know, we're talking about seeing life through your lens or your vantage point. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? You know, when you're looking at your vantage point, you are using your, your experiences in life, you know, maybe even your BS system, your belief system, and things that have been indoctrinated in you, and they are giving you the information you're using to determine or judge a situation how you see life right. for you. And then your perspective or your paradigm actually affects or infects your actions. So depending on how you see a situation, whether or not you see any opportunity in it, determines how you're going to approach it. And the thing is that sometimes we think think that the way things are, the only way things are, are the way we see them. And you know what? That's wrong. So now we're, we're, I'm going to explain something here really quick, Kathy. The difference between being single-mindedness and narrow-mindedness, mm -hmm. right? Because what is uh, perspective is either you're going to look at it in a single-mindedness single or narrow. Narrow-mindedness is somebody who doesn't want to hear anything about anything else, right? Okay, so let me, let me give you, uh, we'll give you an example right. real quick of what narrow-minded looks like. Okay, so here we have, we have a cup. You see on this side it has a logo, on this side it has writing, okay? So if I hold the cup like this, right? And okay. so Ron looks at one side and I look at the other, and I say, wow, 
I really wish they would have put a logo on this cup. What are I mean, you talking right about? They have a logo on this cup. It's Ron, right there. Obviously, there's no logo. Are you crazy? There's a logo on that cup. There's not a logo. Don't you see it? Ron, you know what? Stand down. Obviously, what? I don't know what you're talking about because I obviously know. Obviously, I can see it right you, here. you need glasses. He is so wrong. He, he doesn't even is know so, he's wrong. So narrow-minded. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so now, if, if I refuse to ever look at the other side of the cup. And, and if I, I refuse to ever hear what she has to say, right? And I just decide this is all that's on that cup, well, then I am missing out on the beauty of the other side of this cup and experiencing the fullness of what this cup has. So we're only seeing it through our own vantage point and we are refusing to see it from somebody else's vantage points. And that's what narrow-mindedness, when you refuse to allow other vantage points be part of your perspective, right? right? So now single-mindedness is when you're focusing on one thing, one thing only. You know, a lot of people like to multitask and everything, but sometimes for me, I have to, I have to focus on one thing at a time because I can not get things done, right? If I try to multitask too many things, guess what? It's like chasing two rabbits. Right. You'll never catch <laughs> one, of, one. Right, that's right. Both of them are going to get away. Well, if your perspective is that your life is hopeless and your perspective is why even try and your perspective is, you know what, success isn't for me, there's no opportunities for me, then that's what you're going to get because what you see, what you think, what you can imagine in your mind is what you get. Wow, so the power of perspective is what we're talking about. Yes. The power of what you pro project is what you're going to receive. So we like to say calling those things that are not something that isn't there mm -hmm. as if it already is. So if you speak negativity, if you have these, these things that are always cutting you down and you're the one speaking them forth, right? So you have the power to create and the power to destroy. So if you're always... Uh, speaking negativity in your life, that's your perspective of life, have nothing good to say about anything, you wonder why you reap negativity. Mm -hmm. You wonder why there are no opportunities for you, why you are always in trouble, why everybody is out to get you or seems to be out to get you, because you are creating that experience. When we talk about perspective, we're talking about the way that you see the world, which then dictates the way that you react, respond to the world around you. And if you always see yourself, again, as victim, you're going to behave like a victim and the whole world is going to seem like mm. they're against you. Mm. But no. when you see yourself as victorious, when your perspective changes, then everything changes around you. So instead of, you know, back to perspective, think about that word, you know, think about it for a little while. How do you see your life right now in the day room? How do you see, come on, dad, we're talking to you. Mm -hmm. How do you see your life? You're not with your family right now, but your perspective can empower or man, or can destroy the experience your family is having out there by your perspective. Mm -hmm. If you go on a visit or you're on a phone call, if you're writing letters and everything that you send forth is such a negative experience, mm -hmm. right? Then your family is gonna experience what you give. Then you're giving out heaviness, right? You're, you're giving out almost a suffocation when people are around mm. you because everything's always negative, everything's always bad. And so people leave you, the sphere of your influence feeling negative and discouraged and despondent. And then you don't have opportunities. So when we're talking about perspective, the power of perspective is incredible and it's um, unlimited in both the negative and the positive. So you know what, I, I, I can give you an example. Have you know anybody in there that when somebody um, inside there has a great experience, has a breakthrough in their life, and they wanna share that experience with somebody else, and they share it with somebody, maybe you witnessed it or maybe you've experienced it, to where their response to somebody's victory, somebody's win, right, is such a negative response that they wanna, uh, cut them down, they want to tell them, you know what, who do you think you are? And they come or back- that ain't nothing. And they, they attack the victory that person had in his life. Or have you ever seen on a visit or heard in a phone call where the, the father is, is, is really, um, really disrespectful to the family. The wife comes in and says she was able to get a loan for the house, but because he wasn't able to be part of that experience, mm -hmm. in his own insecurities, his own perspective, he yeah. feels Who little. Who do you think you are? You're just yeah. gonna lose that house. It's gonna end up being repoed. Mm -hmm. You can't make those payments. You'll Without never Without me, right. right? And that's what this is all about, perspective. It's really changing your perspective because your perspective dictates your success. And so we're gonna take a short break, and when we come back, we're gonna explain more about why perspective is so powerful. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So, so make sure you get a pen and paper and write some notes down. We'll be right back.
Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tijerina. And I'm Kathy Tijerina. And today we're talking the power of perspective. Oh the yes, the power of your perspective. The power behind your perspective will drive you towards either success or failure. So what do we say in the way you see life? If you see life in a negative light mm -hmm. all the time and you got this slep rock, I think that's the word, right? The slep rock mentality. Mm -hmm. When everything around you is so negative, you, you're like a walking, um, What's that called? You're no, no, no luck. You got no luck. People around oh, yeah. you don't want to be with you because a slap rock is somebody who's always bringing bad luck. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Bringing and bad luck. And so you luck. feel, oh, I'm so unlucky. Poor me. Yeah. Woe is me. Well, that perspective creates that chaos in your life. Now, why it's so important to recognize the power of perspective and to switch your perspective? Remember, we talked about that cup. So if I go through my life and all I think and I believe that my very, very narrow perspective is the extent of opportunity, is the extent of, of the way that the world exists, I am missing out on so many opportunities, not just for me, but for my kids and my family that are following me. Mm. You've been in prison too long to not see the opportunities that you have right there in front of you. Yeah. Come on, dads, listen to me. The penitentiary has great opportunities for you to grow, to reinvent yourself, to, to reconnect, mm -hmm. to rebuild, to uh, reconcile relationships. Yeah. But if your perspective is one of negativity and, you, and, you're, and you're in a place of where you can't grow, you can't learn, you can't humble yourself, mm -hmm. and you're always fighting against this great opportunity that's right there in front of you, yeah. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're going to continue on in the cycles of self-destruction. Your perspective determines whether or not you're in a cycle of self-destruction or a cycle of self-improvement. Because your perspective, when you fail, if your perspective is positive and one of self-improvement, you see your failure as an opportunity to learn. Not as final. Mm. You're not saying, you know what? My failure is final. This is all I'm ever going to be. Instead, you say, you know what? What did I learn out of this? And how can I do things differently? Because and your tagline, let me cut you off here, because the tagline is, failure is not fatal. Right. Right? Your perspective is, you know what? I may not make it, but guess what? Man, I'm going to learn a lot in the process mm -hmm. of this, this, whatever it is I'm going through. Failure is not fatal, nor is it final. And when we see life that way, we can see opportunity in everything. Even if it appears to be negative at the beginning, like Ron's prison experience, it was like devastating when he first went. When we began to change our perspective away from this is the death of our family, this is the social death of our relationship, and just totally taking that on as a, as a heaviness, and we said, wow, let's switch this and say this is an opportunity to really invest in our relationship and our family. And when our perspective changed, joy re-entered our lives, mm. and courage and strength, and we were able to begin to really knock down our dreams even in the midst of the prison incarceration experience. So why is this so important? If you want something better for you and your children and for the people around you, it is up to you to change the way you see your life, mm. to, to change the way you see yourself. Because your perspective, if you feel that you're not worthy of anything good, then how can your children start to grow up and believe that they, they are worthy of anything good? If you don't see it, they can't see it. Right. They're counting you to remove the scales from their eyes so they can see the beauty that's around them and guess where else? In them mm -hmm. so they can see the perspective and potential that's within them to accomplish not only their dreams, goals, but all their ambitions. 
And you have to understand and see that, you know what? You're not perfect. And the things that you practice, no matter how much you practice, good things, you'll never be perfect. But instead, if you look at yourself as saying, you know what, I want my family to be permanent and I want to be healthy, that's changing your perspective because uh, a, per a perspective that says I have to be perfect is always in failure, right? Always feeling mm -hmm. that, man, I'm never gonna measure up. But the perspective of I just wanna be healthy, right? You can, ch that's achievable. That's achievable. When you change your perspective, then that makes your dreams achievable. And when things are achievable, you can set goals, you can accomplish goals, you can lead well when you change your perspective away from a victim into a victor. You know, one of the things that, uh, we're gonna talk about this when we talk about how, but why is it so important is because your culture is defined by your thinking. Mm. Ooh, let me say, say that, that again. again. Write this down, mm. write it down. Your culture is defined by your thinking. Mm -hmm. How you perceive I'm that life, down. write that down. Your culture is perceived by your thinking. And so if you're always the, the what's that, negative Nelly, attitude, you know, birds of a feather flock together. You're going to associate with other people who think like you, and you're going to create a culture that's poison. You're going to create a, a culture that's cancerous. Right. And your family are desperate for health. They're desperate for a father who's going to rise up to the challenge and bring that healing atonement to their family. And if you want your family to be steeped in the culture of entitlement and incarceration and poverty, then you don't even need to worry about changing your perspective. You just continue on that, woe is me, I'm a victim, I have no opportunity, the whole world is out to get me. But if you wanna change your culture and you wanna change into a place of opportunity and success and achievement, then you've got to begin to think differently about the opportunities in front of you. When you do that, you are creating a platform for success, as Ron said, not just for you, but for your family mm. and everyone around you. Well, listen, we're gonna come back with a short break. Right, when we come back, we're gonna talk about how to, to make this part of your daily life. Right? So if you don't have a piece of paper and a pencil, now's the perfect time to do it. We're gonna be right back, stay tuned. We can't wait to share these things with you. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tijerina. And I'm Kathy Tijerina. And today we are talking about perspective, the power of perspective. You know, when you think about P-O-P, -P, right? We think about pop goes the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> that means the weasel disappears, right? right? And then that's what that game was. Pop goes the weasel. It's gone. I don't want to be a weasel no more in my life. I don't no. want to be a weasel to you or anybody else around. Prior to prison, I guess I was a weasel, right? <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to, gonna right? have to agree with you. Because it was all yeah. about, you know, what does a weasel do? A weasel is somebody who sneaks. The, the symbolism behind when you call somebody a weasel is they don't have no order in their life. Everything they see is- the, They have I, no integrity. And no integrity, because right. everybody's out to get me. I gotta go get mine before I lose mine. All yeah. those type of, yeah. you know. And, and a weasel thinks the only way they can do it is sneaky. So we're gonna talk about how. Like, how do you actually change your perspective? Because chances are you've had this defeated perspective for a long time or you wouldn't be where you are. This, I can't do any better than this. Like, this is the only opportunity before me. And this is just, you know, my family legacy, whatever it is. And so to change your paradigm, to switch that paradigm and say, let me look at the whole cup and not just that cup. Look, let me look at, the, broaden my horizons and look at the whole world. Right, and so the first thing we want you to do is to recognize what got you to where you're at? What, mm -hmm. what is the indoctrination that you received to put you on this path where all you could see was, was the, the forest or the tree because, how's that go? You can't see, see the, the forest, forest for the, the lack tree. of the trees. Yeah, because you're, you're, you, can see you got these shades on your eyes. You got, you got these blockage on your, on your eyes and you can't see nothing else. This is a form of indoctrination. Right. That Somewhere. you can only see your present circumstance. And so you lament mm. that you are where you are without understanding that you have the opportunity to learn and to move forward. And if you, if you consistently lament your past and say, oh, woe is me, look where I'm at in life today, then you never have the opportunity to look up and see the opportunity and move 
move forward. So first is recognizing how you got there, the trauma, the pain, your own contribution, taking personal responsibility because you can't change your perspective until you understand you have the power to do so. And by doing so, you're not, we're not saying go change your past. Mm -hmm. We're saying own your past. Right. Right. But don't stay there and live there and lament in there. It's like, oh my goodness. Right. So the next thing is after you recognize what, what got you where you're at today, begin to renew the way you think. Mm -hmm. We said earlier that your culture is based upon your thinking, right? So you begin to change the way you think. I guarantee you, I promise you, if you start to think when the higher self and you start to really understand that your, your thinking will create a world, mm -hmm. right? That will not only bless you, but bless all those around you and your children, right? Because that means that regardless of your outside circumstances, that you can regulate inside of you and you can renew the way you think so that you constantly and consistently can find joy and gratefulness even in the midst of this, this journey you're on. So you've got first recognize the power you have, recognize what has brought you to this point. Number two, renew, change the way you think about where you are. The third one now is realign. Mm. You need to realign your life to match where you want to be. And so if you think about, wow, this isn't the way I want to live, I want to live this way, then you've got to say, you know what, what choices do I have to make? What things do I have to do differently in order to make that dream come true? So realigning is action, man. All this is action stuff. You have to be willing to put some work in. That means as you're realigning with what you see is possible, the opportunities, you might have to make some tough decisions, mm -hmm. right? You might have to weed out your garden. You might have to look at your sphere of influence and who's in it, and you might Tell some people in the penitentiary now, in the day room, the guys you've been hanging out with, hey, listen, I'm on a new journey now, mm -hmm. and you're not part of it, and I appreciate you, but right now, I got to get myself together because my children are counting on me to be healthy and whole when I get home. So once you realign, which means you're changing who you're hanging out with, you're changing how you see everything, changing about how you react to, around you, now you're actually redesigning your life and you're redesigning your perspective. You're redesigning um, your ability to see opportunity because now, so in this design, if this just sits right there and I don't get up and move, mm. right? I don't do anything different. That's all I'm ever going to see. But if I get up and I move and I go all the way around this table, I'm going to see this. I'm going to see this. Oh, wow. There's even another cup remember, with two logos remember on it. Remember, your perspective is your vantage points. Yes. How many vantage points are there in your life? Listen, this is not going to be easy. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to take hard work. But you got to get up. And you got to begin today to bring that new alignment, the realignment, the new design, because you're the architect of your oh, life, yes. whether you know it or not. Say you, that, say that. I, I am, am the, the architect, architect of my, my life. life. One Man. more time. I, I am, am the architect, architect of my life. life. Don't let mm. other people design how you should live your life. Take power and authority and control over your own life. That means changing your perspective, changing your vantage point, and the paradigm through which you see opportunity. And the four things again are? First one was recognize, renew, realign, and redesign. These are possible right where you're at. You don't have to wait till you hit the streets. Please don't wait don't because wait. if you wait, it's too late. It's too late, too late, too late. Right now, begin the new process, begin the new rethinking. Change your friends. You know what? If they take it personal because you're trying to become better, they're, they're not, not your friends. But if they celebrate you and they and they, they honor join you, you, they join you and want to help you get where you want to get. Now those are re your real friends. Okay. So when we come back, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to tie it all up and give you some final thoughts. Playing catch, basketball, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. 
Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tijerina. And I'm Kathy Tijerina. And today we've been having a wonderful time talking about our perspective Ooh. of life. And the power mm. of your perspective. If you don't realize that your experience that you're having, Dad, right now in the penitentiary, I, 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 the 15 years that I did, I met some powerful individuals who were evolving in such a, a rate of speed that they were phenomenal, man. They, these guys came in one way, but I guarantee you they were leaving empowered. They were leaving, they were leaving validated. They were leaving strong. They were leaving encouraged. They were leaving a, a healthy individual ready for every challenge that was about to face them when they hit the streets. Because right? they had a brand new blueprint for their life. They understood the power of perspective, that the way that they had seen their life before coming to prison was not accurate. They were seeing it through these blinders like a horse has these two, the two shades, right? And as they took those off, they're like, holy cow, look at this whole big world and all the opportunity. As you change your perspective, you're going to open up a brand new world for you and for your children coming behind you. A when brand new you, world. A brand new world. And it, all it was was because you changed your what? Perspective. perspective. That's what happened to us. When I began to be mentored by men inside the penitentiary and Kathy's growing and being mentored out here and then we're connecting back together, we began to dream again. And before Man. our circumstance ever changed, our mindset, and we, we started experiencing joy and happiness and personal satisfaction. Hey, we started falling in love. Yeah. Right? Because our perspective changed. So don't wait for your circumstance to change. You have got to change your perspective first. And as you change your attitude and your perspective, then your circumstantial changes will come come. But if you never change your perspective, you never change your attitude, then your circumstances, you're just going to keep repeating the same negative cycle. You've got to break the cycle so, for your children. So it's up to you, dad. It's up to you to put this into practice. It's up to you to talk about the things that we just talked about, recognizing, renewing, realigning, and rediscovering or re, redesigning. Re, redesigning. Wow. I was so rediscovering yeah. of who the potential is. Who People might say to you, who do you think you are? You can say, you know what? I'm the greatest dad around, man. Why? Because I'm learning and I'm growing. It's up to you, Dad, to make a difference, to change your perspective so that your children can experience something great through this tragedy in their lives, mm -hmm. right? Come on, dads. Your children are, are, they want you so bad to come home to, they want you to come home to, but they gotta, they gotta know that you're coming home healthy, mm -hmm. you're coming home uh, with a visionary, you're coming home to redesign your legacy. Right? And then they can trust you and they will be willing. I mean, they want to follow you, Dad. Lead them into paths of righteousness, not into paths of destruction. We know that's your heart. We know that you want something better for your kids. And so we just want to thank you for joining us today. And we hope that something we said ignited a spark inside of you that's going to help you on your on your journey towards transformation. So thank you again for letting us be part of your journey and joining us here on Tyro TV. Until next time, always remember that, that we, we are, are rooting, rooting for you. you.